In example one, we have data provided on the number of movie admissions for the given years. So in 2010, 1.339 billion people attended movies, and I believe this is for both the US and Canada. So can we conclude that this sample data comes from a population that is normally distributed? So to assess the normality of this data, we'll test the following hypotheses. So again, for the Shapiro-Wilk test, we always have the same two hypotheses. So our null statement is that the sample data comes from a normal population. And our alternative statement, the sample data comes from a non-normal population. So we always have those same two hypotheses. Now what we need to do is turn things over to StatCrunch to conduct the test and generate that p-value. So with our data entered into StatCrunch, we can select Stat, and then under Goodness of Fit, we'll select Normality Test. We'll select the variable that we want to test, and then under Test, by default, this will always be set to Shapiro-Wilk. So what we're doing is conducting the Shapiro-Wilk Normality Test, and click Compute. In this case, we get a p-value of 0 0.4712. So the p-value is 0 0.4712, which is greater than our value for alpha, which in this case is 0 0.05. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So what we're saying is there is not sufficient evidence to discredit the original assumption that our data comes from a normally distributed population. So in this case, the claim is supported. We are concluding that our data comes from a normally distributed population because there's not enough evidence to say that it doesn't. In example two, we want to essentially answer the same question, but in this case we have information about the number of cats and dogs adopted from Paws, Chicago each year. So can we conclude the sample was taken from a normally distributed population? So to assess normality, we'll test the following hypotheses, which again will be exactly the same as what they were in the first example. So the null hypothesis that our sample data comes from a normally distributed population, and the alternative hypothesis that our sample data comes from a non-normally distributed population. So now we need to enter our data in StatCrunch to conduct the test and interpret our results. So again, with our new data entered, we'll select Stat, Goodness of Fit, Normality Test. Select the variable we want to test. Shapiro-Wilk test is again selected for us by default. So we click Compute, generate our p-value, and then interpret our results. So in this case, our p-value is 0 0.7761, which is again greater than our value for alpha, which in this case is 0 0.1. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So what we're saying if we fail to reject the null hypothesis is, again, there is not sufficient evidence to discredit the original assumption that our data comes from a normally distributed population. So again, in this case, the claim is supported. We're concluding that our data does come from a normally distributed population.